left hand is the passive hand right hand is the active hand uh, i would start by telling you whatever i see on your left hand left hand people say that it is the wife's hand or uh, it is the hand of like answer your ancestors what you are getting from your ancestors so uh we do not basically i do not ignore the left hand and the importance of uh, uh, the passive hand the not the active hand is that whatever good or bad things we see in the left hand might play out in a small way in the right hand in many people it's not that uh, left hand and right hands are completely different but in this case there's a there's a major uh, major difference and that concerns this particular line this particular line that you see this is basically called the samian line it's not i wouldn't say it's a complete samian line because there's another line that you see out here this is the line that we are that we see out here okay so uh, what happens is that uh, when we have a samian line this line this is basically combining the heart with the with the head no, uh, the headline starts from this side of the palm and the heart line starts from this side of the palm you would notice that these branches that you see out here normally we see uh, on the heart line towards out here so uh, so what basically it brings in is that it makes a person it makes a person uh, where there is no space between the thought process and the emotions uh, and uh, it makes their personality very very different they could be very good friends or they could be extremely bitter enemies and uh, they basically move only towards one side uh, it could be e either totally he headstrong nature or totally emotional kind of a nature so it could be nowhere in the middle that these things might play out so such people become extremely extremely headstrong because we find that this particular line that we see out here is more towards the it it seems like it's more like a headline not the heart line but apart from that we uh, in many cases we just find this particular line to be there but in this particular case we also find that the heart line is also appearing to show up and this is not one but two heart lines and they are comparatively weaker compared to this particular line that we see the main uh, line i had mentioned so what happens is that uh, because there's another heart line so it would make the person extra emotional also super emotional so one line uh, is good enough but you see that there are two heart lines that that we see so it is advised that the person contains the emotions and uh, uh, for for people who are outside like people who don't know this particular person uh, and, and they are wanting to know uh, this particular person it would be hard for them to understand this particular person this person might find uh, it difficult to correlate with people and uh, understand people so this is what the left hand is showing but not necessarily it might show up in the right hand another uh, another indication that we see on this particular hand is that between the first finger the finger of jupiter the finger of administration religion politics and honor and this is a finger of uh, saturn the finger of money matters this is a finger of wisdom and responsibility we find a loop like formation out here the skin pattern that you see out here this is a skin pattern normally the skin patterns can be seen between the third and the fourth finger also and the second and the third finger also but these are comparatively common but this one is a little bit rare this is called the raja loop raja loop basically means raja loop this is what it is called so uh, what happens is that uh, if a person has uh, has this kind uh, this kind of a loop like formation it is said in it is said in uh, uh, it is said in uh, so a few of the books that people who have this particular they might rise up to high position and uh, uh, their ancestors might be of a high position and honor so uh, uh, or somewhere close to the king or uh, somewhere close to high high post 
but i i i have got a different opinion out here i feel that uh, if people who have this kind of a formation uh, between the first and the second finger the raja loop they themselves might reach up to high position and honor this is what i feel because it is connecting two planets the finger the the area of administration religion and politics and the second finger is basically the finger of money so a uh, raja that basically combines the administration administrative qualities and the money management basically make make it big in their life so it is a good it is a good uh, sign uh, to have apart from uh, uh, that we also find that there is a backward line from the headline moving towards the <clears throat> uh area of jupiter this basically takes a person to a high position jupiter being a big planet it means basically honor and, and growth and ambition in one's life so those are basically fulfilled uh the other aspect that we see on this particular hand is that there's a this area is uh, the area of mars mars is a red planet red beings anger aggression and fire it might depict because there are too many lines out here and few of the lines are coming and crossing the lifeline and touching the this particular area the so this this is the it is touching the headline and it is also touching the money line as well so this particular area point of life could become a little bit difficult and this age the intersection of the money and the headline is age 35 that's when few problems might crop up uh, the good uh, the other good aspects that we find on this particular hand is that there's a uh, reasonably good prominent line moving towards the area of mercury this is the area of mercury this is the area of skill and this is again a perpendicular line over the mount of uh, mount of mercury uh, so perpendicular lines are always considered to be good if they are a horizontal kind of lines like these kind of lines criss crossing lines then the person might miscalculate or miss miscommunicate so those are basically not good good sign but because we find perpendicular line over it it means that the person is sharpening their skill so this is a positive aspect then we find that there are a few perpendicular uh, th then we look at th these particular lines that we see out here this is basically the area of uh, a sun line and sun line basically depicts uh, how good a career is going to be so this is what we are going to be looking at uh there are three sections to it in in your case it's a little bit uh, confusing because uh this is the this is the headline and this is the heart line so anything above the heart line is after the age of 53 between the this particular headline and the heart line is from 35 to 53 and this is this is a, before the age of 35 so we find that the in this particular area the line is not so prominent the line is a little bit hazy the line is a little bit wavy kind uh, so these lines are not so good it means that probably there there might be some doubts and doubts are bring uh, there could be self doubt that is not such a good sign for career then we find the line to be becoming much more prominent deep and clear this is basically considered to be good there is not one but two lines and these are comparatively weaker lines that we see this is got comparatively less uh meaning it's better to just have prominent lines instead of having weak kind of lines so the prominent uh line of sun basically means that the sun shines uh, shines bright and basically it depicts it depicts basically a career is going to take a, 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 a very good upward swing somewhere between the age of 35 to 53 so somewhere at the age of 44 that's when it's going to really take up but we find that the line is also starting a little bit good out here so this is age 35 so there could be not one but two careers in one's life so this is what the left hand is showing the other aspect is that this area appears to be very very prominent well padded uh, and it might be also firm kind so it means huge amount of energies and huge amount of desires so try to understand that we look at qualities in your hand and we could look at qualities that will qualities bring in success or they will not bring in success so when we find that there are qualities present then the chances of success basically increases 
uh, and a person who has got a good Venus indicates that huge amount of desires and huge amount of energy and stamina that itself brings us closer to success. Uh, it doesn't mean that these people are always going to be successful, but it means that in spite of uh, problems and in spite of roadblocks and in spite of everything, the, the, the person would still be able to make it good in their life. And even after lots of uh, problems in their life, even then the person is going to be successful. So this is what the area of basically Venus depicts you would find few lines that are coming and crossing and touching the lifeline these are a little bit problem lines they these would bring in problems in one's life and uh, when it touches the lifeline so the person needs to, a little bit health care uh, health needs to be uh, this is somewhere in the mid of life so these are very uh, medium kind of lines if they were stronger then the impact on the person's life would have been much more stronger we also find that there appears to be a wire lascavia kind of a line this is wire lascavia normally it's something like this but in your case it's a little bit bigger so big, bigger semicircle and we also find that this is the mercury line i have already mentioned to you so what basically this line depicts is that it is a line that is running parallel to your mercury line the area of skill so it kind of supports it but at the same time this line also depicts that there could be i'm not very sure about it but this could bring in like some allergy kind uh, allergic to something it could also uh, make us uh, like addict 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 addicted to, to something so uh, so these things might play out so uh, it needs a little bit care uh, the rare thing i've already mentioned that uh, the rare thing is that this particular samian we call it samian line we can't it, uh, we can't say it to be a very uh, complete samian line like it's going from one end to the other that is called the samian line but because there are uh, uh, in in uh, in a complete samian line we don't find these heart line to be present but because we find the heart line to be present so it makes a, a nature a little bit balanced but yet uh, it makes uh, the nature a, a lots, lot more difficult to understand. So this is what we see on your left hand. So uh, I would take up the right hand again uh, now and let you know about it.